the amount of that's about to come off my floor right now, guys. Oh my god. Three years worth of brujeria. Three years worth of brujeria. Yes, you know I gotta scrape all this up. I got my sand blaster, my goggles. It's about to go down. Real witches do real things. Real witches do real things. Three years worth of brujeria. Why would my housekeeper take it from my son? Is it Santeria? No, this is not Santeria. It is black magic, brujeria. Hey guys, it's AB. I'm in the witch cave right now. Now, I just wanted to come here to you in the witch cave today, you know, because I've been talking a lot of shit today. And just wanted to give you guys a real, um, a real peek at what it's about. Okay, I'm not about to teach y'all no brujeria, but I'm just gonna give you guys some insight. What's happening? You see my shirt here, stolen from Africa. I got my fucking chola wenge here with the embeles and all the daggers and everything. I've been initiated in Paloma Yombe for the last four years of my life. And I love it. I originally came into the religions through Yamaya, of course, she called me first. And I came and every Santero that I saw, everybody that I went to was like, Azelia, you have to go work with the dead. You have to go work with the dead. You must go work with the dead, right? So this video is not about to come, it's not here to complain about anything. I just wanna give you guys a real insight on what it is, right? So you have Palo, And then you have Ocha. So in, oh wait, you can't even see that. Can you guys see that? Um, I love it. It scares me a lot. Palo Mayombe scares me a lot, you know, dealing with the dead and just fucking having to tend to them and tend to their every need, take care of them and all type of stuff. It's just really scary, you know, like even living under the same roof with a prenda or whatever, just like, it's like sometimes it makes you lose your mind. Hey yo, hey yo, I heard you riding with the same tall, 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 tall telling them that is rapper so Azalea Banks, so and two weeks ago she claimed Russell Crowe assaulted her and called her the N word at a dinner party he threw at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Russell has denied it all behind his powerhouse attorney, Sean Hawley. And today in an Access exclusive, we get Azalea's side of the story, as told to our Alex Hudgens. I see you're getting emotional. What's causing the emotion? Because every time, like every time something like this happens, I'm always like being blamed for like wanting this kind of attention. Like who wants to tell somebody they got spat on? You know, that's humiliating. And I'm just like really, really humiliated. 
Sophia Banks breaks down, recounting the night she claims Russell Crowe physically picked her up, threw her out of a party in his suite at the Beverly Hills Hotel, spit on her, and called her a racial slur. It all happens a fast. And I'm just like really, really humiliated. Azalea Banks breaks down. It all happens so fast. Like, I'm not like, it just, just happened so fast. I was just like. But is that what happened? Azalea says she went to the party as a guest of filmmaker and founding Wu Tang Clan member Riza, who worked with Crow on the 2012 movie The Man with the Iron Fists. Azalea says she was trying to nail down a record deal with Riza, with whom she made an unreleased movie called Coco. Oh my God, you guys. I just saw the final screening of Coco. And it's bomb. Azalea said she was at the October 15th party for nearly six hours and claims Crow was drinking, mocked the quality of one of her music videos, and demeaned her career. Russell Crowe's like, oh, well, you haven't done anything in your career. And I'm just like, well, um, nobody's checking for you right now. Like, so, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, let's just, let's settle down, you know? And then when I said that, the whole table, like, everybody was like, oh, my God, like, how, how, how dare you? She claims he later forced her out of his hotel room after she had a heated exchange with another woman at the party. In a lengthy Facebook post, Riza claimed, quote, Azalea threatened to cut a girl in the face with a glass, then actually grabs a glass and physically attacks for no logical reason. Russell blocked the attack and expelled her from the suite. Azalea claims it went down differently. I had the glass in my hand because I was drinking. Everybody had a glass in their hand, we're all drinking. I'm like, girl, like, you need to chill because I've seen this situation get crazy. So Russell Crowe looks at me and he goes, he goes, even if you tried, you wouldn't even get the chance. And then he chokes me, picks me up, throws me out of the room and spits on me. Riza said he was present, but never heard Russell use a racial slur. And while multiple people present at the party tell Access Hollywood they did see Russell spit, it wasn't on Azalea. A source close to Russell tells Access Hollywood that Russell behaved like a hero and acted in defense of his guests and claimed that he removed her from the suite by putting her in a bear hug and picking her up to remove her from the room. But Azalea makes other claims. What made him suddenly Who knows? snap? Maybe it was the moonshine. Maybe it was the rejection. Maybe it was the jokes, you know? And then, like, the, the frustrating point is, like, immediately, like, freaking Riza is just, like, Im like immediately, like, he's just kind of, like, giving me, like, the look, like, oh, my God, you, like, you, like, f***ing up my seat at the table with the white guys, like, the big white Hollywood guys, like, you know? And I'm just like, Riza, you did not see that man just choke me and call me a and spit on me. I was going to ask what was his reaction. Im immediately, he was like, don't say anything. Azalea was insulting a lot of people in the room. Then she started threatening this girl about she's going to smash her face in her glass. Russell said it won't happen, it won't, you know, you won't make it. Then she actually grabs the glass, attacks. Russell blocks the glass, you know, uh, and then expels her from the room. You know what I mean? You're zoning out. You know, like I said, I don't know what overcame her. She, Because she attacked, it was like illogical for me. I, I never couldn't expect her to kind of have that kind of personality like that. Three years worth of brujeria.